I am going to be demonstrating how to multiply a decimal by a whole number using an area model. First thing you need to do is you need to look at the decimal and you need to know that you are going to have the number of groups of the whole number. So you're going to have four groups of 54 hundredths, correct? Yes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to highlight one group of 54 hundredths. So I am going to take going to highlight one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, since I know there are five tenths and fifty-four hundredths, and four hundredths. Okay, that's one group of fifty-four hundredths. What do I need to do next? Look. I make another group of fifty-four hundredths. My second group. One, two, three, four, five, and instead of doing my four hundredths, uh, filling in my next four hundredths in the next row, I'm just going to continue adding on to this row that I had already started. Okay, now I need to have a third group of fifty-four hundredths. I'm going to do another color. One, two, three, four, five, and again, start a Instead of doing my four hundredths, including my four hundredths in a new row, or new column, I'm sorry, I'm just going to continue this column here. So I have two, and now I can start a new column. Four. All right, so I have three groups of fifty-four hundredths. I need one more, one more group of fifty-four hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to add on to this column I started. One, two, three, four. Now, what is my last step in solving this problem? Four. I add them all up. So, I know that I have one whole colored in. I don't have a full hole over here. I'm just outlining them because they're so close together so it's hard to tell which one's which. And I have two tenths over here. How am I going to do this? This would be a full hole if I had four more boxes filled in. What can I do to help me out? Alexis? I can. I can take off four of these. One, two, three, four. And I can just add them. One, two, So now I have one hole, I have two holes, and I have what left over here? What decimal do I have left over here? I know it's a decimal, but it's not a full hole. Kima? I have one tenth and six hundredths, which are sixteen hundredths, yes. And how many holes again? Two. So my answer is two and sixteen hundredths. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use an algorithm to check over our work and make sure that we did it correctly. So we have 54 hundredths times 4. We are going to multiply it as if it's just a whole number multiplied by a whole number. Cameron, 4 times 4 is what? 16. Carry the 1. 5 times 4 is? Plus 1. 21. Now we need to figure out where the decimal place goes. I don't have a decimal place in the four. I just have one in the 54 hundredths, and I've had to count to the left two spaces. So my decimal is going to be two spaces in the answer. Two and 16 hundredths. Does that match? Yes. Yes, so we know that our answer is correct.